today uh, okay uh, uh, our session actually uh, it's around uh, five to ten minutes late but we are actually going to deliver uh, interesting thing about the content generation especially the content generation uh, using the artificial intelligence tool you know that covid era of education the need for the demand for the digital learning content everybody is actually in the covid period students gained a skill to learn with the digital content so the learning industry boom lot of applications came and everybody is now a day is depending upon digital content, especially the content available in the internet or content with uh, some uh, applications. Uh, besides the uh, school classes or the uh, teaching that is available or the learning process that is available in the school. So the content, the uh, demand for this content increased manifold and this forced government to take some action recently in January uh, this year, the Ministry of Education, Government of India, teached about the need for this. So the ministry directed almost all educational institutions in the country, not only from the school segment, even the higher education segments too, to create uh, or convert their curriculum into digital format in the regional language within the next three years. So everybody is. Uh, by the ministry, everybody is directed to do this thing. So, there is a need for upskilling teachers in creating content, especially in the very low cost content using the available devices and platforms. So, AI is the generative AI is the where you can generate content. The content can be text, the content can be uh, image, or it can be a poster, or it can be a uh, reel, Instagram reel, or a short video or anything, uh, or any, it can be an animation, can be a simulation, lot of uh, digital contents are available, even it can be a podcast. So content creation, generative AI tools are helpful to a greater extent, but don't consider it as a 100% replacement for content generation. If, uh, one, while using this segments, using this generative AI tool, the teacher must be there. So the human touch or human presence is also necessary to control it, or human presence is, uh, presence is also necessary to avoid uh, the pitfalls or avoid the unnecessary content or avoid the uh, wrong. Uh, in the, so teachers must be trained, must be upskilled to uh, in using these kind of tools and in generating AI tools. Uh, and uh, in nowadays, every teacher or everybody in the country are aware about the LLMs, especially the large language models. So, uh, like Jack ChatGPT, Gemini, all these are lang large language models. But these large language models, everybody is uh, not using. Almost the total subscribers, even OpenAI says. Uh, using this pro platform in a professional manner. Because to get good content or generate good content using an LLM, especially the textual content, you must be skilled in prompting the model uh, in a professional manner. So prompting is very, very important. Then you must be aware about the other type of skill. That means other type of generative AI tools. Lot of generative AI tools are the generative AI means an AI which can generate something. It can generate text. LLMs are generally generating text. If you want to make a lesson plan, you can generate a lesson plan with your chapter itself. And if you want to generate a uh, project-based learning uh, of something, uh, then you can generate it with the LLM. If you want to gamify a topic, uh, then you can also do it with LLM. And if you want to write a script for your video, you can generate using an LLM. And uh, you can even generate PowerPoint presentations, images, videos, and even generate 
the speaker notes, even speaker notes for your PowerPoint presentation. It's also possible. So the thing is that you need to know how to generate it using LLM. We, are, we need to first start with a lot of generative AI tools are there. Text generators are there, just like ChatGPT. Uh, my advice is that not uh, not uh, to not to depend on a particular model. That means ChatGPT alone. The best to practice is to uh, depend on multiple tools, multiple elements. That means in even in large language models, large language models means the all these ChatGPT, Gemini, uh, in Grok, uh, Hugging Face, Meta, all these are large language models. The all large language 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 model means an AI model capable of uh, handling uh, languages in that means natural language in a better way or human language in a better way. So large language model don't stick on a particular large language model to generate something because each model has got its own strength and disability. You need to identify it while using it. For example, some models are capable of uh, I, I know not moved the slides uh, so far. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I need to, for example, I, I will move it later after just introduction. I will having an introduction. You need to be skilled in using these models to generate content. You can just trust for a content, but it meant it will it will not generate good content. For example, you can ask for general ask a model or approach a model or prompt a model, that's the correct terminology, prompt a model to generate a lesson plan for a particular topic. So simply you can say, it, I want to generate a, or write me a lesson plan for uh, the World War Second, the topic about the World War Second for my students. Then what will happen? The model may not recognize your context. Generate something. It will generate a lesson plan. May not be suitable for you. May not be in the pattern recognized by or the uh, pattern suggested by NCERTs or SCERTs. It may be in different some other pattern. So if you want to generate a good lesson plan suitable for you, then you need to add some context to the prompt. Example, if you want to generate a lesson plan for class eight students in a biology chapter, maybe in uh, uh, animal cells or plant cells, then you need to give a detailed prompt like this. That means write a lesson plan or act as a science teacher teaching in class eight in India. to role play the model to act as a science teacher to take your role act as a science teacher teaching biology in class 8 in india generate a lesson plan on this part of the topic in this chapter of the biology textbook if you are subscribe a biology textbook by zbsc or ncert for this class and generate this in this quantity generate this in this style or otherwise you can give a model, a model of the model means some guidelines will be there. Sometimes uh, the departments, education departments or agencies like NCRT or SCRT, they are publishing lesson plan models. If you have a model, you can input that model. Nowadays, chat GPT, actually they are uh, providing multimodal service free. What do you mean by multimodal service? Multimodal service means an LLM capable of accepting information in multiple modes. So you can model with your own text. Then you can upload a PDF file or an image or a presentation, whatever it may be. Upload your chapter, upload your uh, model, uh, what you call guideline for preparing the lesson plan. Then that's for the content. You are giving an example. Here in this prompt, you are giving an example, giving some uh, major instructions, giving something about the context. So because I, you are a teacher, 
you want to generate you are a teacher teaching biology in india you are teaching in the secondary level you are teaching in class 8 you need to prepare the lesson plan based on the prescribed textbook everything every element must be there in the prompt so a simple prompt just like give me a lesson plan or generate a lesson plan for in uh, uh, animal about animal cell uh, that simple prompt may not be or good content so you need to specify each and everything so prompting is nothing it is inputting the required information in a structured way so for creating e content with the help of ai first you need to be skilled in using llm or prompting llms or prompting chat gpt gemini or other tools like this so uh, uh, we will have an introduction to ai now then we will move to the hands on i think we are getting very very little time to hands on for hands on but uh, i will give you an introduction about the llm uh, the not llm but uh, artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is is actually a very old technology. It happened in 1950s in Stanford University. The Alan Turing was the first person uh, uh, talked about it. That means uh, he actually proposed an idea of uh, what you call uh, the uh, intelligent machines. And uh, in 1950s, John McCarthy he conducted a workshop at uh, uh, the Dartmouth College of the uh, Stanford University, and the first time he actually, the McCarthy coined this chain, uh, artificial. But it, this technology gained the momentum only in this last uh, uh, few decades, because you know, artificial intelligence is a technology mainly depends upon data. So huge computational power or the capacity to, uh, what you call it, process data, is necessary to do it. This we got it only in the last few decades. So the AI is actually gaining momentum only, momentum only, only this time because this uh, ages because it requires a heavy, uh, huge or large computational power to realize it. That's the reason. For example, to make an, an LLM just like ChatGPT, you need to teach a machine with a lot of data. So AI is possible only after teaching a machine with a lot of data. But at that time, even ChatGPT 4 means it is trained with the 650 kilometer long bookshelves, books uh, that can occupy only in a 60, 650 kilometer long bookshelf. That much volume. If you want to teach a machine with this much volume of text, then if you use a, a, a normal laptop or mid sized laptop for this, then normally it will take 7 million years to complete it. Complete it in a year, then you need to 7 million laptops like this. So training or making a model or an LLM requires a lot of energy, money, effort, computational power, everything. So we got all these in the last uh, few decades. So A is gaining momentum. So, so what is actually A? A is nothing. It is not a single technology. It is only a collection of technologies, collection of ideas, technologies, or techniques that can do some jobs which normally uh, requires human presence in the absence of humans. For example, if you want to, uh, uh, for example, if you want to, uh, uh, for evaluating a detailed ans answer scripts of your students, answer, written answer script of students, normally a teacher, a human is necessary, is required, but a, a tool like ChatGPT or an LLM can do this in the absence of human, without a teacher, without the help of a teacher, they, uh, this tool can do it. So A means a collection of ideas. It is a collective name or a family name for technologies, ideas, techniques that can do some jobs which normally requires human presence in the absence of humans. And this is possible only 
after teaching a machine with the human generated data. I can underline human generated data. Without teaching a machine with the human generated data, A is not possible. So don't take it as a replacement for teacher. Take it as a vehicle. Take it as a vehicle which can augment or which can enhance or which can speed up the process. Means if you want to make a lesson plan, normally for a chapter, normally it may take hours. But this model can do it in minutes. With the help of this model, a teacher can do it in minutes. That means you can speed up the process. So consider AI as a vehicle. Don't take it as a replacement for teachers. Okay. So this is uh, a, the Venn diagram shows a relation. You can have the uh, uh, this Venn diagram to learn something about this uh, relation between this technology. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence and deep learning is a subfield of uh, uh, machine learning. It is only a sophisticated machine learning. And all these uh, generative AI, LLM, chat, GPT, every, everything is actually is a result of deep learning. So first we need to learn about uh, the LLMs, large language models and chat GPT. And uh, uh, large language models are uh, language models capable of dealing uh, uh, human language or natural language in a better way. Then a lot of large language models are there. You can have chat GPT, Gemini, Meta, you may be familiar with the Meta because it is available with the uh, uh, WhatsApp. Then uh, Grok is there, Grok.com. Then uh, uh, Cloud is there, that is any, any beautiful LLM, Cloud.ai, C-L-A-U-D-E, Cloud.ai is another LLM. Then uh, Perplexity is another LLM. Grok is an ultra-fast LLM. Lot of LLMs are there. You can... I, my advice is to don't stick on a single LLM. Sometimes Gemini can yield you good result uh, better than, that means better than ChatGPT, or sometimes Cloud can generate, give you a good result compared to, in a particular segment, compared to Gemini or ChatGPT. So practice all these models. Then you have a lot of models like a to Gemma, Llama, Cloud, Hugging Face, Meta, Perplexity, Grog, all these are uh, LLMs. And we have uh, Indian uh, chatbots also uh, uh, supply, uh, supporting Indian languages. Pashani is uh, available. You can visit pashani.gov.in and uh, the Hanuman is another model. Pashani is uh, available as an app uh, for your mobile phone. It is available in the Google Play Store or in App Store, which can translate. It is actually a voice-to-voice real-time translator for Indian languages voice-to-voice -voice real time translator for Indian languages. It is available uh, in uh, free uh, in the uh, Google Play Store in uh, or Apple uh, uh, App Store. Then it is available. You can uh, search for Pashini Maiti. Maiti means uh, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology will get that app. It is a free app. You can do it. Yeah. Indian language LLMs are also available. Hanuman is another attempt by uh, Bombay IIT, it is also available now. It can also uh, uh, it can also handle Indian language. Okay, uh, somebody is asking for the previous slide. This is the previous slide. Okay, uh, this is very very easy. You can get. Uh, I can uh, give you some uh, clues to get the names of this thing. Okay, Pashini. Then uh, I have already told about the multimodal LLMs. Uh, Multimodal LLMs are capable of accepting information in multiple modes. That means in Cloud or AI or in ChatGPT for O model, it is a free model. You can upload your chapter in PDF format. You can download your chapter on the NCRT website. You can upload this chapter uh, and uh, ask for a question paper, maybe in your uh, uh, format. You, you need to upload that format to, to get it in the right format. Otherwise, you need to say, I want uh, five uh, multiple choice questions, five fill in the blanks, five, uh, one uh, match the following questions with six elements, and this much short answer, this much long answer, this much essay. You need to specify all these things to get it. Get it. So, uploading a chapter. Explaining about the, uh, what you call, the, your requirement, you can generate something. 
a question paper. You can generate. So how to create prompt? So while creating prompt, keep all these things in your mind. Be clear and specific. Don't create any ambiguities. Use complete sentence. Don't use a phrase. If you use a phrase, the model may take it in a different context. Add. You are asking for this thing. You need to add this context. Otherwise, it will not generate good results. You can make an agent. means That means you can role play the model. That you can say, I am a teacher working in... Uh, in the secondary level of this state, I am following this syllabus. So I need to prepare a uh, lesson plan or I need to prepare a plan for a project-based learning in 4,000 basis. So every time you ask for the, you give the context, your actual requirement, everything. Then experiment editor, there is no magic bullet to get good answer. So you need to experiment every time and iterate the model. Don't be satisfied with the first answer you try modifying it, it to uh, generate good answers. Use relevant keywords and specify your format. If you want it in a bulleted list, you can ask for a bulleted list. If you want it in paragraph this with this much words, you can ask for it. If you want it in a particular other format, maybe in a poem, as a poem, as a short story, you need to specify the format and you need to specify the tone also in which kind of language. If you want it in a simple language, you can say that. If you want it in a professional language, you can say that. If you want it in a lawyer's language, if you are looking for some legal thing, you can ask for a lawyer's language. So the model is a language model which can generate content in any tone, any format. All these things you need to specify. And then look at the structure of the prompt. As you could, not a magic bullet, these are the things we normally require to create a prompt, arranged in a priority order. Because without the task and context are the most prioritized ones, without the task and context, nothing will happen. And then will be generated. Just ask for a lesson plan. Then the model will normally ask you which kind of lesson plan you will want, on which chapter you want, on which syllabus you want. So you, if you want to create a lesson plan, create a lesson plan is only a task. You need to add some context to the task. So create a lesson plan based on the chapter six of the biology textbook of class eight in Indian syllabus or NCERT syllabus or CBS syllabus. Provide all these context. If you want in a particular example, particular model, you need to say an example. I have a format for creating lesson plan. So prepare NCRT suggested guidelines or the CRT suggested guidelines. You prepare in a particular persona, in a particular person style. You can prepare in a particular format and you can prepare with a particular tone. Every element you need to input in a very structured way, then it will generate a good lesson plan for you. So just asking for something may not give you good result. You need to provide all these things. I can show you with the real uh, thing. Uh, real situation with an example. Uh, let me uh, stop sharing this and uh, share my other screen with the chat GPT window. Uh, wait for a minute now. I'm using actually a ready-made prompt because I don't have much time to type in prompt here. And I will stop this prompt.
Okay. So now we are able to see my screen. Are you seeing this for now? GPT window now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then I am going to use a prompt like this. This is my first prompt. It's a very simple prompt. Write a lesson plan about the photosynthesis. It actually lacks a lot of context. It may not result. I can just uh, upload this. I can just run this prompt to get the result. It is generating something. Things. Without this thing, it may not be suitable. This lesson plan may not be suitable for you. Without this, you can even generate with some other thing. Use this thing. As a science teacher at the secondary education level in India. You are requesting the model to play a role as a science teacher in uh, teaching in the secondary level in India. They use specialized in project-based learning methodologies as suggested by NCERP. So you are put in it, which one? The project-based learning as suggested by NCERP. Then asking for a lesson plan for the subject of biology suitable for class 8 of secondary education on this topic, photosynthesis, and apply the project-based learning methodology to this lesson plan. So this is a very detailed prompt. Here you are inputting all your requirement in a very structured way, which can generate a good result. We will, we will do it. We will run it now. Okay. Then you will get a beautiful uh, lesson plan for project-based learning for class 8 in India based on that particular syllabus or a chapter, phase 1, research and planning, all sessions, length, everything. Very detailed thing you can generate and will be more suitable for you. Sometimes you need to iterate it. Even a single, a detailed prompt like this may not generate a good answer. Sometimes you need to iterate it again. Okay, so ask for, give very detailed information in your prompt so that the model will be able to, uh, even you can ask for a evaluation plan. You can ask for an evaluation plan. Generate. Generate a rubric for table format. Evaluate this. Yeah, this is not a this is a lesson plan. Uh, the rubric may not be generated for a lesson plan. We will use another prompt. Yeah. Use this thing. This prompt. Give me five original ideas to gamify unit about photosynthesis so that they are interesting for students and easy implement of the classroom. It's providing the gamification idea or different ideas. Ask for five ideas. So it is generating five different ideas. Gamifying that kind which makes the learning process easier. So it is generating, generating the third one. Okay, generated all five ones. Now you can ask for detailing one. For example, I like the second idea suggested by you. Please detail this idea. You can further 
as a chain of thought program, you can further detail the second idea. So it is, it will provide a detailed plan for the second idea. It is generating one detail plan. Materials required, implementation, assigning roles, setting the scene, role playing the process, everything it is explaining, about the topic, and think about the Calvin cycle, everything. God, cell, and stomata, then the, the script. It is detailing the second idea uh, originally suggested by you. Then assessment, it is giving you uh, some idea about the assessment and uh, it is suggesting an extension for this activity too. It's a very detailed plan. Then you can ask, now generate a rubric. Evaluate in a rubric, in a table format to evaluate it in a it using a five point scale yeah it is generating a rubric in a tabular form evaluate that gamification process how to evaluate the performance of the students on this. These are simple examples of uh, creating textual content using LLMs, large language models. But you can, you can generate uh, uh, visuals or a script for visuals. For example, if you want to make a uh, two-minute video on something, maybe for teaching uh, addition of simple fractions for primary students, what you will do? You can generate it. Sometimes you may find it very, very difficult to start to write a script. Some mind block will be there. Some inertia will be there. You may spend a lot of time to do it. You can actually bypass this time by getting ideas from LLMs. How to write a visual script for a short video to teach maybe a reel, an Instagram reel, to teach addition of symbol fractions in uh, for primary school students in a, an entertainment manner. That means in a child-friendly manner. By, uh, using the theories, not by using the conventional steps by LCMs, finding LCMs and uh, what you call HCOs. You can easily teach the idea with a video. So how to generate script for this video? I will give you one example. You need to put everything in the prompt in a well-structured way. I already told you. Uh, because the time is limited, I am very, going very, very fast. Because the, all, each of these elements are to be detailed. And it is not possible to provide it in a one and a half hour. But I will give you a flavor of something. Then give the task. My task is to write. Write is my step. task. What to write? I need to write visual script. Visual script for what? For a two-minute time length unit to get two-minute short video and short video about what to teach addition of simple fractions to primary school students we need to ask the model to write in the correct format of short video so add mind the structure of short videos. Don't deviate from the structure. Right in the same structure. Then you are generating it, you are writing it 
for the students. So you need to use the simple language. So prepare in a child friendly language with examples. Then what type of content you need? You want a visual script. So the, what are the elements of the visual script? Sometimes you need a scene description. For a visual script, scene description is uh, always necessary. Sometimes you need a voiceover or a dialogue. Sometimes you need a graphics to be included in the scene. Sometimes you need to put the text. Sometimes you need to put the text over the image that we generally call it as text overlays. Sometimes you need additional scenes. So you need to ask for all these things. So suggest scene descriptions. Okay. Voiceovers. Okay. Text overlays. Then graphics. And additional scenes are generally referred as B rolls, video production. Team. So this is a very, very simple script, very, very simple prompt for generating a script for a short video. Very, very simple prompt. This is very, very, at least these elements must be there in that prompt. Otherwise, it will not generate thing. We will run the prompt now. It is same time it is generating two, two uh, scripts simultaneously. Response one and response two. It is generating the scene one, scene descriptions, voiceovers, text overlay, B-roll, everything, scene two, two scripts simultaneously, it is generated. First example, then voiceover, generating scene four, it is generating. You need to, need, don't need to take this script as such, but this script, you can use this prompt in multiple LLMs. Use this, copy this prompt and you generate it using Gemini. Copy this prompt and generate it in cloud. So you'll get multiple ideas. So you read all these ideas. So as a teacher who recognize, who know the level of your students, level of your kids, normally all these ideas will ignite a new idea in you. And all these examples will help you in speeding up the process. So accept the, all the script suggested by this or generated by this model. This will uh, ignite some more idea, some good idea in you, uh, considering the context, your context. So it generates some ideas. So, so I am I prefer this response. I I, I like. Response one, given by you. Okay, so I need to restructure it, reformat for the simplicity for production. So rewrite it in a table with the following structure. We will start the structure here. Scene number in the first column. Then timestamp the second column. Then scene description the third column. Description you need to check the spelling. Okay, third column. Voice over the fourth column, then fifth column. What are the remaining things? Text overlays, graphics, so let us run it. It is restructuring the response one script in a tabular form.
simply generating it, rewriting it, rephrasing it in a very structured way. Do you like this process? You can come to the chat and type Y, 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 Y. That's the best way to. Otherwise, you type N, 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 N. No, 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 no. Do you find this process useful? Will it speed up your process? Will it speed up your work? Will it augment this work? Your work? Generating lesson plans, script, gamification process, evaluation. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Then, this is uh, content. And you can look for, for example, you can look for uh, pages. There are text to image models where you can uh, generate images with uh, your own text, even with your own image. Lot of text to image tools are there. Example, we will generate an image. Here, scene description is thing. A colorful animated classroom with the cheerful music playing. A friendly cartoon character teacher pops up on the screen holding a chalkboard. You can ask for, can you detail the character? Explain in the scene number, scene number and here. It's telling about a character. The clothing, appearance, accessories, color schemes for personality of all these characters. Okay, animation style was character. Okay, then you can ask the model, write a prompt, generate, image of this character in a text to image model. It will, it is actually generating image. It's not writing the prompt actually it is generating the image itself. Here is the image of the character. Okay. Okay. So here, get me the prompt, X prompt. Generate it. It is now generating uh, the Mr. Fractions cartoon character. Okay. Then you can copy this prompt and you can generate it in another model. I am copying this prompt. Example, I am copying this prompt. Going to another interesting model. It is, uh, is it visible to you? Leo Nardo dot AI to the text image generator and launching the app. Signing with uh, my Google ID. You can sign it with your Google ID. With your Gmail ID. Okay. It is telling about something new. I don't want it. And clicking on the image creation. 
clicking on the image creation, then I can put it here. I can put it here. Phase to reload. Okay, there is a place to put the prompt. Create a digital or a photo of a cartoon style character. Okay, you can ask for the photo of a cartoon style character. Normally, it requires 24 credits. Generally, the Leonardo will provide you with at least 150 credits for a day free. So you can use it freely. I'm generating it. I'm clicking on generate. It will take some time to generate. time we will go to another uh, model where called the cling ai so i will go to cling ai there are image to video uh, things are here so i will get this image here okay mr fractions I will get this image here. I can download this image. The image generated, all these images is generated by it. Okay. Images, it generated four images. I like this image. I am going to save this image or otherwise you can download this image. And uh, even you can remove text uh, from here, then, uh, it somewhere here, ABC, the name of ABC. If you want to remove the um, uh, text, you can remove the text, okay, also. Then I am going to use this in a uh, platform, a generated video generation platforms. And uh, here I am going to upload, I am going to upload uh, this uh, image. uploaded the image a prompt okay this character talking something you can put the dialogue here talking something He is moving his hands and legs. Legs is also using. I doubt something. Okay. So we can draw motions, lot of things you can do. I'm generating for five seconds because we have done we don't have much time. I can have generate for five, ten seconds or more, and uh, uh, clicking on the negative prompt, you can use uh, or otherwise you can 
you get here use out change the oh now it is not necessary sometimes it may take automatically it is generating Sometimes it will take them. The, this time required to generate something depends on the what you call this uh, the uh, your account, your uh, internet connectivity, and the response time of the server. Sometimes the server may be busy, so it may take a long time. Same in the case of ChatGPT2 and in the Gemini2, uh, especially in the pre model. In the first attempt, attempt, you may not get the right answer. Then sometimes you need to repeat it. So every time when you uh, use a prompt, uh, generate a prompt, then uh, do one thing, you can generate it, uh, you can type it in a notepad and keep it somewhere. Sometimes you need to PM repaste it. So don't uh, directly type it to the uh, uh, platform's window because sometimes uh, it may not work. Sometimes you need to reload the page, then you will lose that text. So you need to type it again this will lose your time. So always prepare the prompt in a notepad or something in your system, then copy paste it. That's the best way. So if you are successful in getting good result in a particular prompt, you can keep it somewhere. There is an online tool provided by Google called keep.google.com. The app is also available. You can keep all your notes in the cyberspace for free. So keep.google.com is a very good tool to keep all these things. Sometimes if you're successful in generating something, every time you may not get good result. There is no magic bullet for it. So you need to keep practicing. You need to keep iterating the model for good answer. Sometimes if you manage to get a good prompt, then it's somewhere, keep it somewhere, maybe in this kind of online not keeping tools. So the benefit of the advantage of online uh, not keeping tool is you can get it from anywhere. You can get it from your mobile phone. You can get it from your laptop or you can get it in your school system. Only thing you require is an internet connection and a Google account. Then you can easily get it back. Uh, and uh, the keep not uh, is a tool which offers search functionality also where you can search for something. If you don't remember about that prompt, you can just search for that prompt and find it very, very easy. So that is a good practice of uh, uh, what using uh, or uh, prompting uh, AA models. So the, uh, because I already told you, there is no silver bullet, there is no badging bullet for it. You need to learn how to prompt in a structured way. You need to practice it with the model. Each model differs in a strength and ability, strength and weakness. You need to find it by yourself, especially your domain. So everybody can use it. Teacher can use it. Educate can use it. Doctors can use it. And uh, even uh, an artist can use it. Everybody can use it. But their use case is different. Even the teacher's community, the use cases may be different. The use case of a plus two teacher may not be uh, uh, the same for a primary teacher. In every case, the use cases are different. So you need to... Uh, Play with the model and find a good solution for your good prompt for you or a particular thing. For example, creating lesson one, creating question paper. Then you need to uh, put it uh, somewhere in the online space where you can uh, re-access it at any time, at any space. That's a good practice. Uh, it is rendering our video. So the video is actually generated from uh, writing a script uh, by the chat GPT and uh, detailing the character and generating that image from another text to image tool. ChatGPT itself generated something. But uh, here uh, uh, I used another model. That means uh, uh, Leonardo.a also available for free. It, it will provide you with uh, 150 credits a day free. So we can generate something. So it generated a video. Uh, now you can now play for it. It's taking some time to download it from the server. Coming.
it is generated the video. You can control the video as per your requirement. Lot of motion plus features are there. It is a little complex model. So uh, a very short and described in the script, you can generate with a video generator and uh, make your own. I can uh, show you a content generated by an image here. Uh, even in a video, I can show you it in a video. For example, wait for a moment. Uh, I will get it for you. Uh, hope uh, you are seeing my uh, system screen. I will search for that video. Uh, yeah, you can see this video. Okay, you saw it. It's completely generated. I can play it one more again. It's a fake thing. Okay, it is completely generated uh, using uh, what you call it. Uh, well, uh, from an image, actually the image is generated with uh, a uh, it's model called Flex and uh, the video is generated with the another tool. So content generation can be done with the help of AI tools easily. Even right from the script, you can write the script, you can prepare the script with the LLM, you can uh, generate uh, characters with uh, some AI models. Even you can make it 3D using some AI models, then generate video based on your thing. Even you can use another video as a reference video and create a uh, very, very uh, small shorts video, then edit into a good video. So the content production, you need to upskill yourself to a certain, a certain extent to uh, do this. So uh, I explained uh, something. And uh, if you have some questions about uh, the topics uh, uh, already described here, you can ask questions uh, now. Uh, otherwise, if time allows, I can because I I need it need to be closed by five fifteen. Am I right, uh, uh, in the it need to be closed by five. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. We can so I need on to five seven minutes. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, I, so I I need to open. Uh, <laughs> For questions now, it's already five five o'clock. So I can show you one more. Time is available. Yes, definitely. Somebody else is talking. I think time is available. Yes, can, I take, uh, five, uh, can I take five more minutes? Uh, sure, so definitely you can. Are you, are you happy? Uh, is it boring? Is it boring? Then uh, put a why, why, why? If it is boring in the chat box. If it is boring, you put why, why, why. You are not putting why. <laughs> Actually, you are putting no. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I will uh, hear about how to generate questions uh, using your chapter. Uh, maybe multiple choice questions or something. Uh, chapter and uh, then you can convert these questions into a video. That's another uh, interesting thing. But uh, I will not get much. I I I. I, I I will not get much time to generation, go to the uh, video generation part, but I will uh, show you how to generate it, the questions uh, using uh, the GPT model. Okay, so I am going to the GPT, uh, going to use a chapter from your textbook. Okay, 
I'm going to use a chapter. This is a chapter. It's a chapter downloaded from the NCRT textbook uh, telling about the story of village Palampur. Uh, uh, nine. Then I am actually just adding this, uploading this chapter here. Then generate 15 multiple choice questions based on the content of this chapter. There must be at least four choices. Prepare in a language. You may the answers to at the end. Is generating the multiple choice questions, 15 multiple choice questions based on your content. First one, what is main the activity in the village of Palampur? It is taking reading and understanding the content in your chapter and generating questions. Okay. Eleventh one, twelfth one, thirteenth one, fourteenth one, fifteenth one, and uh, providing just uh, obeying my prompt. So, generate content for a PowerPoint presentation based on this chapter. Okay. Write a title and selected points. Each slide. I need 10 slides. Okay. PowerPoint was the PowerPoint. This is bulleted. Okay. So I need the content for a PowerPoint presentation. It is generating the content. Okay. Four bulleted points. The title slide. It's like okay. So you got uh, content for ten slides for a PowerPoint presentation, and there is a very interesting way to create one. Now write VBA code to generate this presentation in. PowerPoint. It is generating the code. Can generate write code in any language. Generating the code.
transmitted the code up to the slide five. The former case in this uh, uh, in this video, you can generate the voiceover with uh, uh, another platform called uh, Eleven Labs. You can go to elevenlabs.com where you can generate the voiceover. Even you can clone your own voice. Uh, clothing actually. So you can text to speech thing as here. So you copy paste the whole voice over here and get the audio and use in this video. So if you use this audio in this video, you can even control the lip, lip movements accordingly. Uh, uh, then I am looking for this uh, code now. So it generated the code. Okay. Then I am copying this code. See a copy code button here. You can I'm copying the code. So I copied the code. Then go to PowerPoint. Then generate a or uh, open a new PowerPoint. You can end the slideshow. New PowerPoint. Then press Alt F11 or otherwise click on the developer tab. Click on the visual basic thing to render the code. You generate a code, we insert a visual basic module here and put the code here, paste the code here, then click the play button to run the code. Your PowerPoint is ready now. Even you can even beautify this uh, PowerPoint by just uh, pressing on the designer tab and uh, select something. Okay. Generating another design for you. Click on designer. Sometimes it will provide good designs. So you can take another design easily. So that's an easy way for uh, generating PowerPoint presentation based on your content. So the content protection is now very, very easy with the generative AI tools. Only thing is, don't use that as such. You need to use it as a build. So you need to upskill yourself in doing this. Uh, doing it in a responsible, very responsible manner. That requires, mastering these techniques requires a lot of time. It is not possible. Even a five-day, recently, NCRT conducted a five-day workshop in Ekandan Dalpin. Even that five-day is not sufficient for it. It requires a lot of time. But practice it. A lot of uh, resources are available in the internet. This can be a, a starting point where you can try uh, uh, with uh, developing skills uh, in creating a content for it. Now I am stopping at this point and I am open for questions. Niti, you can manage. Over to you. Thank you, sir. So, sir, one of the questions asked is what is VBA code? And can you please repeat the a lot of people are actually uh, can you ask a question and uh, it is not audible for me are you so i'm uh, repeating Nithi, 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 you are you are muted actually so now i am unmuted actually am i audible you are audible but uh, you are uh, yeah, now, now we are okay. Yes, so, uh, sir, one of the participants has asked, What is VBA code? and uh, can you please repeat to presentation uh, creation of presentation process? Yeah, VBA same. code means VBA code means uh, visual basic application code because the PowerPoint in the Windows environment, PowerPoint supports. This visual basic application code, writing a code, you can control the PowerPoint. It's possible. So, if you are not a coder, then you can use the LLM or ChatGPT or even Gemini or Claude 
to generate a code for your thing. I already generated the content first with your chapter. By uploading to your chapter, I generated the content. Then after generating the content, I prompted the model to write a code based on this content, VBA code. So if you want to generate it in another uh, platform, if you want to generate it in Google slide, instead of asking VBA code, you, you may need to ask for a macro code, macro for generating. You need to provide the platform, macro for generating power presentation in Google slide or macro for generating a code for generating presentation in open office in press. So depending upon the platform, the code may be different. But for PowerPoint for Windows application, we usually generate Visual Basic application code because in, in along with the PowerPoint, this VB code or Visual Basic application code interpreter is there. So you can ask for it and copy the code. Sometimes the code may not work. In that case, sometimes it show an error. In that case, you copy down the error and go to the chat GPT window again and um, while running this code, I am getting this error. So re fix this code and regenerate the code again. So you don't need to debug it. The model itself will help you to debug it and get the right code. Okay, that is VBA code, Visual Basic Application. Code. So, um, participants have asked can we repeat the process of the presentation creation? Participants are asking to repeat the process of the creation of the presentation. Which one? I, I am not writing anything. I think a lot of echo is uh, coming in your sound. If somebody has opened the microphone there. Yeah. Sir, uh, participants are asking for repetition of the preparation of the presentation. Yeah, repetition of that thing. Okay. So I can show it again. This thing, generating it, generating it will take a lot of time. So I have already uploaded my chapter here to generate the questions. After generating questions, I am asking, requesting the model here. Now generate content for a PowerPoint presentation based on this chapter. I am asking that I need a title and four, four bulleted points in each slide. So I need 10 slides. I want 10 slides. So it generated content for this thing. It generated a title slide with the title and subtitle, then generated uh, a title and four bulleted points as I requested for each of these slides. Slide three, slide four, slide five, slide six, slide seven, slide eight, and nine, and 10. Then I prompted the model to write a VBA code to generate this presentation in PowerPoint. So it uh, converted this content into a PowerPoint code, a VBA, a visual basic code. Then I copied the code using this copy button and to the PowerPoint window and uh, started a new PowerPoint uh, slide and uh, went to the developer, clicked on the developer tab. If the developer tab is not found in your system, then click on the file menu, click on the options menu at the bottom, then a dialog box will appear and click on the customize ribbon button here. Then you check on the right side whether developer is checked or not. If it is checked, it will be shown. And if it is not checked, check it and click OK. Then this tab will be available in your uh, PowerPoint. Then click on the developer tab. In the developer tab, you will see in the left hand side, you will see a Visual Basic window. Click on the Visual Basic window where you will get a window like this. In this window, you click on the insert menu. Insert. And click on the module, insert a module. Then paste this content here. I click and paste the code here and run the code. This is the only thing. And this is actually the model itself is telling it. You can go to this code. At the end of the code, it is showing. Press Alt F11 Visual Basic Application Editor. Insert module to create a new module. Copy and paste above the content of the module. Close the VB Editor. Press Run. You will get 
a procedure. So it is also the model is also uh, telling a grade line to generate it. It's uh, just one one or two times you need to practice it, then you will master it easily. Okay. You okay? Should I ask another question, sir? The answer is not that I think everybody uh, liked uh, this uh, very small session. Yes, sir. There are certain uh, one more question, if you allow. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. So one of the person has asked that how can we download these questions from the page? He must be talking about MCQs. Download a table or something. Download the questions from this chat GPT page. There is no need of line or question. There, there is a way. There are a lot of ways. You can just copy this. Use the copy button. Get co copy it and uh, paste it somewhere, maybe in Word. Otherwise. Yeah, you can give a prompt. I want to download the multiple choice questions generated here as a word file. It is analyzing my question. So I need to tell that I want to that particular thing. It is already uh, generated somewhere, not in here. It may take some time, then it will generate it as a word file and provide you with a download link. So there is one more question. Can we use AI generated videos as OER? Open education. AI generated video. Can we use AI generated videos as open educational resource? You can use it as an open general educational resource, but uh, the copyright thing uh, now, but if you use a copyrighted audio, that will be a problem. Uh, so you, you can even uh, use 11 labs to generate voice. Then it is available, so it is generated download file and forest documents. You can click on it and download it. Okay. Then the one more thing is that nowadays all companies are putting some hidden uh, code inside the generated content. So when you post it in Instagram or what you call in a uh, uh, social media platform, normally it will generate a tag like this is AI created. It is not original AI created. That is not, is a, may not be a problem for us because actually we are generating it for students. We are not generating it for, actually, uh, we don't have much uh, uh, or need to prove that this is uh, uh, not created with AI or something like that. It can be AI created, but you are actually using AI to create it. But our purpose is different. Okay. Uh, the last question. One last question, sir. Yeah. Uh, is Chat GPT 4.0 free version? GPT 4.4 is a free version, but uh, the uploading of uh, files, that means I uploaded here uh, files, and even you can use Excel files, image files, etc. But it is restricting up to five uploading a day. Free. If you go beyond the five number five, then you need to take a paid uh, subscription. Up to five uploads, it allow free. Okay, sir. Uh, one chapter upload, you can have multiple questions, but it will allow uh, only uploads up to five, five files, up to five files a day. Very next day, you will again get five files. Then, uh, then you can depend on Claude.a also. Claude is also providing something free. There are other tools like a chat PDF, chat doc, 
lot of other tools are there where you can go for that other tool store. That DPT is not the only one. Okay. Currently, it is free for five files up to, but you can have unlimited questions. So I think the questions are over now. I okay. hope everybody, yeah. Uh, Not yet, sir, but yes, definitely everyone has enjoyed your session. Still, uh, they are asking some questions. Um, but yes, so there is a limitation of time. So, yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm.